Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about how to configure your self-hosted agent in Azure Pipeline using YAML file. Alright, so this is an extension of our previous video where we discussed about how to create a self-hosted agent and how do you configure it and how do you uh, use it in a classic pipeline and all, isn't it? So here we will discuss how to configure that uh, self-hosted agent in a YAML pipeline. Alright, so this is going to be a very quicker and easier one. The reason is because I am not going to dig in deeper to uh, create uh, pipelines which has demands and all. Th that is going to be little difficult for now. So what I will do is I will cover few other topics which relate to, to st jobs, stages and other uh, generic uh, yaml pipeline related uh, concepts and then finally i'll come to that but for now let's focus on this particular uh, simple concept of how we configure the self-hosted agent in an yaml pipeline without any demands all right so let me go to my project here you can go to your project settings or you can configure it at, at the organization level too and i am going to agent pools so here I am, I have already created a self-hosted agent called SH1. Under SH1, I have agent called Agent1. Right? Currently, this is an offline status. So uh, I'm going to have it offline just for, for now because I just want to show you like how the behavior is when it's actually offline. All right? um, so let me go to my YAML pipeline. and let's try to configure that self-hosted agent in our uh, yaml pipeline i'm going to trigger it in the main folder and then we need to pass some arguments with related to pool okay so let's call define pool and we we got we have to give it some name all right so name name is let's call this sh1 so this is our agent pool right so pool will be sh1 so if there is an option to give demands as well okay so that is going to be a little card difficult one so i'm ignoring it for now but do not worry we'll cover these concepts later our in later in our video series and then let me give a very basic step to run a script a script echo pipeline one All right so let me save this one and i will run it now so once run you can see my job is actually queued you know it, it is not running it is stating that agent request is not running because all potential agents are running other request current position in the queue is two okay if i go to my agents now where is my agent my agent is still offline where else if i go to my jobs you can see there are two uh, jobs which are currently in queue okay the this is the one which we created now and other one is the job which i created earlier all right so if i go to my pipeline you can see this pipeline is still running okay but actually it is in the queue if you wanna uh, view the details about it as i shown you earlier you can view it in the agent pool section all right so you can see these two jobs are currently in queue okay so the reason it is happening is because it is currently in offline state okay in order to uh, bring that it, uh, into your online state what you can do is you can go to your c folder where you configured the agents all you need to do is just run this so once you run this it should come online all right let's wait for a moment and verify what's actually happening here um, 
it is scanning for tool capabilities so once this is done we can run our pipeline so it is connecting to the server listening for jobs just give it a moment all right meanwhile it is running i'll just i'll just give you a quick recap of what we did so we created a self hosted agent called sh1 and it is a, it is our agent pool and i and uh, i have configured that agent pool in my yaml pipeline and i'm running my pipeline currently it is stuck in the queue because my agent is actually offline so in order to make it online what i'm doing is i'm just running that right see now it is actually online so prior it was offline now my agent one is online okay so now if i go to my pipelines again you can see my pipeline is running yeah both the jobs which were in the queue ran successfully right so now my pipeline ran successfully you can see the green tick mark in order to double check you can again go to your agent pools and see the list of jobs so yeah you can see both my jobs which were in the queue ran once my agent became online okay this is something most people do not note okay sometimes it might be stuck in the queue for a long time the reason is because there might be some problem with your agent it might be either offline it is not configured properly and all so this is something you need to monitor whenever you are working with your self hosted agent all right so that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys as i said uh, little complex topics with related to demands and other areas with respect to self hosted agents we'll cover in our upcoming sessions once we cover all the basic details with regards to azure pipelines all right so yeah if you like this video please subscribe and check follow my channel thank you